Bills had to pass through at least one full committee in either the House and Senate, or they're likely dead for the rest of the session. Chief political reporter Amanda Rooker is in the studio, and hundreds of bills are now just dozens, Amanda. Jody, lawmakers really zeroed in on a few key issues now. Some of the bills that passed through committee include eliminating requirements to have equal gender representation on state boards. Another proposal that advanced through committee would require Iowans to only use state facilities that match their sex at birth and would require transgender Iowans to have a, spe a special designation on their birth certificate. The other big push is changes in Iowa schools. House Study Bill 675 would require school districts of at least 8,000 students to hire at least one security guard or school resource officer. It would also allow teachers or other school staff to carry weapons at school if they have a permit. They would have to pass a background check and attend at least five training courses. Also making out of, it out of funnel week are two very different House and Senate proposals, both designed to make changes to Iowa's special education system. Right now, Iowa's area education agencies, or AEAs, oversee that both proposals would give school districts more control over special education and other services. We sat down with Republican and Democratic leaders at the Iowa State House to hear their thoughts now that funnel week has come to a close. I give our people a lot of flexibility to put through what they want in committee, and uh, I think um, we'll have enough to keep busy, but it's going to be a little bit slower year than we've had maybe the last six or seven years, and that's just because I was in a great spot. Um, uh, we feel that the state is moving in the right direction, and we're excited about where we're at. Iowans have a lot of concerns about education. They want lower costs. They want, um, you know, they want things that are going to affect their daily lives, and so much of what we've done at the, we've done at the Capitol so far feels a lot like politics. And several proposals did not make it through committee by today's deadline. That includes a bill that would have allowed schools to hire unlicensed chaplains to support students and a proposal that would have given city councils more power over local library boards. Now, there are some loopholes that allow those bills that have died to actually come back this session. Lawmakers could add them as amendments to proposals that did make it through funnel week or House or Senate leadership can always sponsor bills and that brings them back. Laura.